Okay, hello everyone. Uh, Rob Tui here with the recording of the um, Quick Character Build 15 Minutes for Fantasy Grounds 5th Edition. And uh, the directions on how to do this in print form are on the forum and they're listed below uh, in the links. And um, we'll get started here. Uh, first step is to open Fantasy Grounds and choose Manage Characters. Uh, choose the 5e rule set and click start, which I've already done to move things along. Uh, then we're going to uh, go ahead and click the PC button here. Uh, so we do that. Whoops, <laughs> it'd help if I was on the right screen. And there we go. Uh, click on the PC button here, and we're going to click the edit list button and click new. And it'll open up a new character sheet here. Uh, this, of course, assumes that you have the Player's Handbook uh, module. Uh, if you don't have the Player's Handbook, uh, you do have, um, in the uh, even in the demo version, you have the SRDs, um, uh, which are which look like this, and you have the uh, uh, Magic Items, Beastry, and SRD Data, which is the Player's Handbook, basically. And so you can get your classes and everything out of there. But this does assume that you have the, the PHB to do this. Uh, tutorial. So, um, on the main page, uh, the first step is we're going to type in a name. So let's just call this guy. Uh, what are we going to call him? Y T Fibber. Just completely out of my head. I have no idea what it even means. Um, and then we're going to double click a portrait. And let's just choose a random that looks nice enough don't even really know what race it's going to be but that's not really important because uh, you can go back and choose different portraits uh, anytime you want so the next step is type in the raw ability scores so i think i'm going to build a fighter so i'm going to use the standard uh 8 10 12 uh 13 14 15 matrix so i'm going to first type in uh 15 for strength because he's going to be uh, a fighter so uh, Dex will use 14 Khan will use 13 we'll just go right down the line 10 12 10 and charisma 8 super ugly super nasty guy um, so now we're gonna go to the library and we're gonna open up the PHB and we're gonna choose races classes Let's see, there's classes, we're gonna choose races, and we're gonna also choose uh, backgrounds, which is here. Okay, now I have, I've, I've actually already hotkeyed all these down here, but just to show you how to do it. So I have races, classes, and backgrounds hotkeyed down here. Um, and um, that's how it'll, uh, it'll turn out to, uh, to do that. So, uh, sorry, I'm just looking at everything here. Um, so now, after we get that going, we're going to choose a race. So in this case, I'm just going to randomly choose Dragonborn. That sounds fun. So open that up, drag in Dragonborn into the race field. And we'll kind of just save that there. Don't need races anymore. And also, we're going to choose a background, so we'll choose a Noble Knight. That sounds good. Drag that into backgrounds there, and we'll open it up and kind of keep that there. Don't need backgrounds anymore. And then for class, he is going to be, of course, a fighter. So we'll just drag fighter right into class, and it'll automatically put level one. Oh, now it asked me a question. Choose two skills from the list below. Uh, that your character will be proficient in. Okay, so he's a fighter, so he's going to be let's let's use perception and intimidation. That sounds good. We'll use those two, and it automatically puts that in your character sheet for you under the skills. And after we've done that, um, we will go to the skills page, the next page, and you'll see that he already has intimidation and perception that I chose. And persuasion and history were given to him uh, automatically through the use of his um, background. So um, you don't really need to do anything there because it's already been done for you. So you go over here to abilities. You'll see that all the uh, features and traits and proficiencies and languages have been listed um, because it, the Fantasy Grounds has already put that in there for you. 
So the only thing you have to do on this page is choose additional languages if there's one that you can choose. So he has common, draconic, and one of our choice. So we'll just put Y, abyssal, I guess. That sounds fun. Whoops. And I put it on the other line. Whoops. What happened there? Didn't let me... Oh, interesting. Okay, so I have to go back and kind of copy it in. Lead it, make it own, make its own line, and it will uh, alphabetize it for you too. And languages have to be um, because of the chat language feature. You do have to spell these uh, languages correctly uh, when you put them in here if you want to use the chat feature in the game. And the only thing that I found common as an error is that uh, if you choose orc, make sure you put orc, not orcish, because it is orc with no ish on it. So just choose orc. Um, okay, so that's all we have to do on this page. And now we're going to go to the inventory page, which is next. And now the fun begins. So on the inventory page, you open the equipment, which is in the, the PHP. Uh, but I have it I have it hotkeyed down here. So you would just uh, go here, open the PHP, choose equipment. That's what you would do. But um, I have the equipment hotkeyed here. Um, I have adventuring gear, armor, weapons, and tools. And those are all easy to open. Um, just as you saw me go to the go to the thing and open it up, it's not a big deal. So all very easy. And once you're here, uh, you know what? That was a huge bad move. I should have moved them over here more because I need to get to those other things back here. So the first step when you're choosing your weapons is to go to your class. And so my class is fighter. We're going to scroll down the class and go past the table to where it says proficiencies and equipment. And you're going to choose from the equipment list. Uh, so let's see, he gets a chainmail or leather longbow. Yeah, chainmail. Right away I want chainmail. Where's armor? Okay, so chainmail is here. I'm going to drag that into his equipment and it'll put it there. Next he gets a martial weapon and a shield or two martial weapons. Oh, we definitely want a shield for this guy, so let's give him that. And we'll give him his martial weapon, which is on the weapons table over here. Go down to march, martial. Oh yes, he wants a battle axe. Right away I see that. I love it. Make him have a battle axe. Cool, so you drop that right in there. Now uh, we got to keep going on the list here. So he gets a light crossbow and 20 bolts or two hand axes. Yeah, we'll give him the crossbow. So he gets a light crossbow. If you're, if you're looking, I saw it up there on the top, but if you're looking for stuff in here, you can just type in part of the word light. Oh, look, there's light crossbow. And then when you go back, make sure and untype it because uh, it'll open up the table again. And then he gets 20 bolts with that, which the bolts actually are not on the weapon table. They're in the uh, the gear list. Uh, and it's good to hotkey stuff down here. By the way, I should have shown you how to do that. Anything that you want to hotkey, uh, you you go and find it. Like say you want you want a hotkey dragon where you grab the shield, you bring it down here. You drop it, and it'll hotkey it on the bottom. And then you can right-click and erase it if you don't want it there. Um, for the tables, you would actually have to go into the library, open up which table you're looking for. Say you want the NPCs, drag it down here, and just let it go. That's how you would do it. So um, That's how you can get all your details. So we need uh, bolts for this guy. Ba -ba -ba -ba, crossbow bolts, 20. And bring them up there, drop it. Left-click, drag, drop. That's how you do it. Um, now, let's see. What else? Does he get anything else? Uh, where were we? I need to put this again. Yes, like, a Dungeoneer's pack or an Explorer's pack. Well, he's going to be playing Dungeons and Dragons, so let's give him a Dungeoneer's pack. That makes sense. That is on the tools. Uh, I, I believe that's where it is. Dungeon. No, it is not. It's probably on Adventuring Gear, then. Dungeoneer's pack. There it is. Drag that over, drop it, and it populates everything in there that you need to have for that guy. It gives you the rope and the pitons and the rations and everything. Okay, so I believe that's it. Yes, that is it for the equipment on that part. So after you've done the equipment from the um, class, you then go to the background. Uh, 
because there's more equipment that the guy gets uh, from the background. So here's Noble Knight. Scroll down to proficiencies. Within proficiencies, you'll see extra little equipment. So he gets fine clothes. Uh, that's on the adventuring gear. Fine. Yep, clothes, comma, fine. Drop that in. And a signet ring. Okay. There that is. Drop it in. What else does he get? A scroll of pedigree. I don't believe that is an actual, I think that's just a fluff background thing. Uh, but you can put, you can actually, we'll put the case. No, that's a case. You don't, you put, yeah, so here's what you do for that. Um, go on his character sheet, go down to the edit button. We're going to add a piece of equipment and I'm just going to type it in. Scroll of pedigree. Because um, it is not an actual item in the equipment list within the player's handbook, so you just add it. Um, that's kind of a little story thing. And he gets a purse containing 25 gold pieces. Now, we don't want to give him a purse. Uh, this is not a female character. Uh, that's kind of a sexist statement, but you know what I'm saying. Purse, it usually says, it usually doesn't say purse, uh, because I don't even think purse is in here. But um, pouch is, and pouch is usually what uh, someone gets. So they get a little pouch. And then his background gives him 25 gold pieces. So you come right down here to treasure. You left click on the box, type 25, and then you can type GP. It can be capital or small. It doesn't matter. And Fantasy Grounds throughout your um, playing days will populate SP, CP, EP, whatever the, whatever the coins are. It'll put it there for you. So if you put GP here, if you get added gold, it'll just count up for you right there. So it's all taken care of for you. Um, I think we're done with the equipment. Uh, so we can close all those equipment tables. And now we are going to go yep to the notes page which is the next page okay and here you can type in the gender uh, male we'll make him 23 um he is a dragonborn so we'll say he's uh what six foot four uh you know what since he is a dragonborn let's go to the tokens by double clicking the face up there go to the D D ones here go to dragonborn there it is. And we'll take the first one, the red one. Yeah, there we go. It looks cooler that way. And this guy's weight's probably going to be like, I don't know, 280, we'll say. All right. Now, in alignment, you can just fill that in. Uh, let's say he's chaotic neutral, so we'll put C in. Deity, um, some god you choose. I don't know the gods very well, so we'll just put that. Now, the personality traits. This is the cool part. So... With the personality traits, um, you go to the background, and uh, here it is, and you go down to su suggested characteristics here, and you just open up at all four of these tables. One, two, three, four. And you click the table dice to roll it in the chat window, close it, do it again, close it, do it again, close it, and do it the last time, and close it. Now you have, over here, you have, you grab the shield, and there's his flaw, so you drag it under flaws. There is his, uh, uh, what is this, the bond? Put it under the bond, grab the shield for the ideal, put it under the ideal. I'm not even reading these, I'm just building it with the character. And uh, the personality, you can put it there. Now, of course, you can adjust all that stuff. And then for appearance and notes, you can just add your own notes there. Now, the log is a new thing. Uh, the log is not in the written instructions, but that's for games. If you play with uh, the Adventures League and you have a faction, you know, we can just make this guy uh, a Zent, Zentarum. And, you know, you can put your faction there. And if you have a DCI number for um, Wizards of the Coast, you can put that there, too. The log sheet doesn't get used very much unless you're doing Adventures League. Now, for the last section um on the actions page if you were to have spells here you would put them if you were to have um uh, powers here you would put them uh, in the case of this character he doesn't have spells he's a fighter and he does he is a dragonborn he does have dragon breath though and so the way you would do that is over here um his powers are 
Oh, second wind is a kind of a power, so we'll put that over here. And breath weapon is a kind of a power, we'll put that over here. And um, that's pretty much it for right now. I'm not trying to get too involved. This is the quick build. This isn't the the one that you uh, you know build in you know all the stuff. But if you just drag these in here, it'll build those for you. So. Breath weapon is there. He can use it. It'll do the it'll do the DC save uh, on the character he breathes on with half damage for uh, for a success, and it does two d six. And there it is. And your second wind, he can heal himself for one d ten plus one. So that's pretty easy. That's how you get uh, those things built in there. Um, spells and stuff get way more complicated, but that's pretty much it. Um, the only thing now that you have to adjust manually that Fantasy Grounds does not completely automate for you is the AC. So um, his AC shows as 12 because it's 10 plus your dex, uh, which is a plus two modifier there. And if you open up the magnifying glass, we have to go put his armor in here. I think chain is a, I can't remember what it is for. What is it? We can just go look. Go to his armor, which is here, uh, chain mail. We, uh, oh, the reason those uh, things are there is because I have it on edit, so we have to go and take it off. You always want to click on the shield to, to look at the information. So his chain mail is, oh, it has six. Okay, so it's base 16. So he's got 10 already. So we go down here to armor and we put six. So you see that he's got 10 plus six and a shield. He does have a shield. He did buy a shield. So you put two. He is um, proficient. And the other thing I forgot to look at, I believe on Chainmail, you do have a stealth disadvantage, though. So let's just go check. Um, it doesn't say that here, but where do you find that? You find it on the weapon table. And you go to, sorry, weapons. Armor is what I meant. You open up armor. You go to chain. And disadvantage. Dex, he has a maximum of two. Okay, so over here... He can have his full dex, he can have maximum two, maximum three, none, full. So he wants max two. And uh, we don't fill anything else. Uh, and he does have stealth disadvantage. So um, you close it. And you will now see that his armor class, wow, fantastic. First level character, 20 armor class. And I believe we are done. So... It looks to me that that took us approximately 15 minutes or so, uh, 16 minutes maybe. I don't know. How, uh, I did a little bit of extra talking, um, but that's how that goes. And I hope everybody uh, has enjoyed it. And uh, please follow me at Twitch. I'm at uh, twitch.tv slash Rob And also subscribe to my YouTube channel here. Do a lot of uh, gaming. And um, if you have specific tutorials and fantasy grounds, uh, that you'd like to see, I'd be happy to do those, so leave that in the comments below. Thanks, guys.